Make this colorful salad part of your own holiday tradition. This beautiful salad is ready to star on any menu. It's traditionally served as part of Christmas Eve festivities in Mexico and parts of the Southwest, which makes sense once you see some of the unique ingredients. Your first step is to make the dressing. So I have some olive oil, pour in some vinegar, a little bit of lime juice, and sugar. Put on the lid nice and tight and give it a good shake. Then, just store it in the refrigerator. One of the special touches in this salad is the pomegranate seeds. Now this is what a pomegranate looks like whole. The first thing you do is cut it into quarters. Then have a big bowl of water in front of you. Take your quartered pomegranate and submerge it in the water. And then with your thumb and fingers, just gently loosen those pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate. The seeds will sink to the bottom and some of that white uh, membrane will rise to the top. It helps to peel away the outer peel as you gently loosen the seeds. So now, just scoop off some of this white membrane that's floated to the top, and then scoop out the pomegranate seeds from the bottom. You could use a slotted spoon, drain this in a colander, or just use your fingers. This is actually a great make-ahead recipe. Both the dressing and the fruit can be prepped up to a day in advance. So I'm gonna start with two oranges that I've peeled and sectioned right over our bowl because you want some of that great juice in with the fruit. Then some cubed pineapple. This is fresh, but you can use drained out of the can as well. And then some apples that have been cored and sliced. Toss this all together. And then just pop it in the refrigerator, just like your dressing, for two to 24 hours. When you're ready to put the salad together, get your fruit from the fridge and then put in a sliced banana. You do this at the very end because you wanna keep that banana from browning. Okay, and then give it a good toss. Now, I've already put down a bed of romaine leaves and some shredded lettuce. On top of that goes our fruit. I like to use a slotted spoon to let those juices drain before you put it down on top of your lettuce. Okay. And then some sliced beets. It's a sweet flavor that adds lots of color. Then some thinly sliced jicama. Jicama is really common in Mexican cooking. It's actually called the Mexican turnip. And it adds a really crisp, sweet flavor to the salad. Then we finish it all off with some pine nuts. You could also use some peanuts, but I love pine nuts. And then, of course, we have our pomegranate seeds. It adds another great festive red color to your salad. And finally, you have your dressing from the refrigerator. Give it a nice good shake and pour that all on top. Look at that. This salad is guaranteed to become part of your holiday tradition.